Attention sellers, the Long Island market is on fire. Do you really need a realtor to sell your property? I'm going to give you six reasons why it's in your best interest to do so. That's the topic of my next video. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Schreier, and I'm a licensed sales associate formerly with Century 21 American Homes right here on Long Island. I am now with Coldwell Banker American Homes. Same great company. We just went from 10 offices to 24 offices servicing Nassau, Suffolk, Queens, and Brooklyn, and over 1,400 plus realtors working for the company to better serve you. With that topic being said, why is it in your best interest? How does it help you hiring a real estate agent to yield more money uh, to net more money at the end, you know, at the end of the transaction. Marketing. I just mentioned we went for up to 24 plus offices, 1,400 plus agents. I didn't even count the power of the multiple listing service, but marketing is key. The more exposure your property has to the buyers, potential buyers, the better your chances of getting the top dollar for your property. So marketing is key. You can't compete by putting out a for sale sign, putting it up on a couple of websites, or even going on Zillow and posting the free ad. And by the way, when you post that free ad on Zillow, they basically market it to realtors who are coming to bring buyers so you're dealing with a real estate agent anyway. Number two, managing the COVID chaos. That's right, if you advertise your property, whether you market it professionally or not, you're still going to attract buyers to your property. Do you really want these people coming into your house? Do you know how to take the proper precautions to limit it and to do it safely? So number two is managing the COVID chaos. Number three, we or I know how to make sure only pre-qualified buyers come into your property. I go the extra effort to make sure everybody that enters your property is ready, willing, but more importantly, able to buy the property with proper pre-approvals and proper proof of funds if they're a cash buyer. So that is number three. Number four, you're most likely going to get multiple offers. Not all the time, but most likely in this market you will. So do you know how to manage those multiple offers to make sure you're actually picking the best one, not only in dollar amount, but in terms? Terms are key. If give you an example, if you need to move in in uh, three months because you're looking to buy a property or four months and you know the properties that are out there are limited right now, is that buyer willing to wait for you? You might find somebody offering more money, but they're not willing to wait. So you basically have to do your due diligence and go through every offer to make sure this is, in fact, the best offer for you. Number five, I believe it is. What happens if you accept an offer and you're all happy and excited. You got top dollar, maybe above asking, and now it didn't pass the appraisal process. Guess what? There's got to be a compromise. Either you got to lower your asking price, or the buyer walks, or the buyer has to give more cash. A lot of things have to be considered when you accept an offer. You can't just accept the top offer. You got to accept the top offer that that appraisal or that the house will appraise for, or know your way around it. So appraisal. How to work with the appraisal process is a very, very important thing. And I know most for sale by owners do not understand the concept. I didn't understand it before I became a realtor, and I wouldn't expect a lot of other people to understand it even now in this crazy market. Number six, once, let's say you did pass the appraisal process, there still could be some bumps in the road. A realtor, a good realtor knows how to manage and make sure, manage a transaction to bring it all the way to the closing table, from listing to closing. And one last tidbit, if you're thinking about listing your house on your own, the owner of ForSaleByOwner.com had an upscale condo, and he was the owner, the CEO of ForSaleByOwner.com. I'm going to go to put the article up on the screen. The owner of ForSaleByOwner.com put it up by himself, could not sell the property. He enlisted the help. That's right. He hired a realtor to sell his property, and his property sold for more than he ever expected. So if the owner of the CEO of ForSaleByOwner.com utilized a realtor, you must think twice, or you should think twice before you decide to go it on your own. If you want to get a free seller's guide, 
you've watched, you've earned it, please click the link down below and you will get a free seller's guide to give you some tips on how to go about selling your property. If you want to contact me for a free consultation, my contact information is also down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. This has been Mark Schreier from Coldwell Banker, American Homes, and I'll see you on the next video.